Amos Hochstein, a senior advisor to US President Joe Biden, urged Hamas on Tuesday to accept the Washington-backed proposal for a ceasefire in Gaza. Hochstein's comments came during a visit to Lebanese capital Beirut, a key element of the American effort to contain conflict in the region. The conversations that I had here today in Beirut and the ones that I had yesterday in Israel, both are being conducted because the situation is serious. We have seen an escalation over the last few weeks. And what President Biden wants to do is to avoid a further escalation to a greater war. Hochstein made these remarks during a press briefing following his meeting with Lebanese Parliament Speaker Nabi Berry, who has been a mediator between Washington and Hezbollah. But let me be clear. The conflict along the blue line between Israel and Hezbollah has gone on for long enough. Innocent people are dying, property is damaged, families are shattered, and the Lebanese economy continues to decline. The country is suffering for no good reason. It's in everyone's interest to resolve it quickly and diplomatically. The backdrop to Hochstein's visit is a period of intensified clashes between Israeli forces and Hezbollah. Almost daily cross-border attacks have been reported since the Israel-Hamas conflict reignited in October. Contrary to the US-led efforts, Tuesday evening saw further military actions with the Israeli Air Force jets striking multiple Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon, hitting sites in Taibe, Odaisa and Jibain, and a military facility in Ata Ash Shab. The Israeli Defense Forces also mentioned that its Northern Command is endorsing plans for potential offensive actions in Lebanon and taking steps for continuation of increasing the readiness of troops in the field. The continued violence now requires the urgent need for a solution to prevent further escalation and promote stability in the region.